at this type of question there are many ways of solving it i'm going to explain you the easiest way for both the questions um okay for the first one we have here is 3 is to 7 and the next ratio here is 4 is to 9 i'm going to just write down in a fraction form so this will be 3 by 7 and this will be 4 by 9 After doing this, I'm gonna cross multiply. Means, uh, I'm gonna multiply the nine with three. I'm gonna multiply the seven with four. So nine threes are is I'm writing here the down. Nine threes are is twenty-seven, and seven fours are is twenty-eight. Now out of this twenty-seven and twenty-eight, which one is greater? Twenty-eight is greater, right? Which means four by nine will be greater than three by seven. So here. Three is to seven is less than four is to nine, or four is to nine is greater than three is to seven. Just cross multiply and see which product is greater, and that ratio or that fraction will be greater. This is one way of doing it. Okay, the next one is cancelling it. Means, uh, here is a second question. Five by eight. Okay, let me write down the ratio form. So five is to eight. Or they have given here is six e to seventeen. Now you can uh, okay. Let me write down this fraction form five by eight, and here we have six by seventeen. Okay. Now here you can reduce it and you can cross multiply, but here we cannot reduce it further, so I'm going to just cross multiply directly. So multiply the seventeen by five and this eight by six. So seventeen five's up is eighty five, and eight six's up is forty eight. Right, we have just cross multiply. Now, which number is greater? Eighty-five is greater than forty-eight, right? Which means five is to eight is greater than six is to seventeen. That's it. Okay. So this is how you can compare the ratios here. Just cross multiply, check which product is greater, and that ratio or that fraction will be greater. 